Oh, we can turn these lights off now. Gotcha. By the way. Gotcha, but yeah. So we're just trying to see what I'll do. I got the the drawing we had it on uh, Friday mm -hmm. work from home. So I didn't pick it up, but my boss has it. So it's like, hell yeah. Like, I'll take that any day. Because that's what I was gunning for. Like, it was that. A pebbled ice machine. a uh, Another Nintendo Switch. But we've got like three Switches in the house. So I was like, don't need another one of those. Or four $100 uh, Visa gift cards. So I put all of them, except for like six tickets in the Apple gift card one. And I had like... Game sales! A ton. I think I had Are like 80 tickets in there. Here's why! It's a bird with with creepy feet and a long tongue. Is, is it that cool? I'm asking you, like, do you think it's that cool? Why is it such a meta character anyway? He was Deadpooling before Deadpool was Deadpooling. There's three screens for the same You got a good point. Dang, you know that Costco popcorn is not bad. I know, right? It's that is really good. Like, it doesn't have, like, mega butter in it. But it's oh, wow. still great. Oh, wow. Wario, uh... Uh... Took out a large loan just to uh, get a nice <laughs> upgrade for his house. Yeah, well. There's worse ways to do things, I guess. Oh, look at him. He just had an idea. I got it. I'll call my friends. Oh, yeah. Hey, Jimbo. <laughs> uh, th there was, a, I think there was a meme of this at one point, and then. Uh, it, it's just that scene, but it had like Waluigi, but Wario was like, oh, sorry, wrong number. <laughs> that's, that's freaking hilarious, because they're not brothers. Uh, so it would seem. Probably cousins. And welcome to WarioWare Inc. Mega Start. Micro Games. Okay. Uh, yeah, so this is, I think it's the first WarioWare game ever. Was it on Game Boy Advance? Uh, it is on Game Boy Advance. Nice. Um, okay, just gonna have to uh, create my own little profile here, super quick. Uh, oh, where is that in? Thank you. Uh, is that? Oh, I actually have to click on the end right there. Uh, I'm a boy. Yeah, we're dudes. Diamond City, 200 X's. That's a lot of X's on that tic-tac-toe grid. That is a lot of X's. Oh, no. All right. Okay, so... How, how does Wario get down from there? I'm, I'm not seeing, like, any other ladder just to get down from that... mountain of a pillar. You got a pipe. No, no, go. Go ahead. Think you can beat my games? I would um, love to Yeah, because apparently... Your micro games are the first and the easiest. Oh, well, he's going places. He literally. Oh, I was gonna say he literally just jumps off of the cliff to go turn on his radio. Okay. Here's a question for you, Tanner. As far as, like. So he's got this stereo, right? Yeah. How. Okay. How often do you listen to music just really, really loud? Not nice. often. Not oh, often because uh, people in my family will tell me to turn it down. I know. But do you, like, do you even enjoy listening to music like crazy loud? Like, let's say you're in the car. I, I mean, yeah, yeah. If I'm alone in my car, yeah, I'll blast my music up. Uh huh. Well, but even, even then, like, I. I don't know, I'm not much of a like a loud stereo kind of guy. I was actually thinking about that today, because I was thinking, I was like, you know what when um uh like like when I go to my house I wanted to put like a surround sound in there, but then there was a part of me that's like, well why? Wait, what? Like I wanna put a surround sound in my house when we build it. Nice catch. Um <laughs> uh Ooh, boss stage, very nice. But like can I even use that? Ah! Oh snap! Oh, I missed! 
I came in like a wrecking ball. That, that's something that he would say in Mario Party. I think so. Nice hit. Hey! Yeah, super charged. Yeah. I got weird pickups. But yeah, that's it for water. I was just I was just considering that. I was like, you know what? How often do I really blare my music? Not, not often. Not often. I almost always have my AirPods in. Just just AirPods, and I don't need those very loud. I can always hear what's going on. Yeah. The, the, if there's one thing that my uh, family, I don't know, maybe at least my mother, most of the time, sometimes my dad and my sister. But if I'm like listening to music and I have like uh, headphones on or uh -huh. my my earbuds or whatever. Hey, you did it! Next, it's Jimmy! Neutron! What? No, he's not a Nintendo character. Sorry, uh, Jimmy the, the the Disco Jimmy, sorry. Disco Jimmy. Um, Disco Steve. So, like, I, I could have, like, uh, earpods in, mm -hmm. and I'm just listening to my own music, just blasting it at a good volume, not trying to kill my ears, but then, uh, like, my family's, like, trying to shout my name, trying to call me. Yeah. It's like, hey, we've been calling you, And it's like, you know, you could just walk up to me and, like, tap my shoulder. You could even text me. Or text me, <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. I, I would love to just have a place of my own and just blast music across a house. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Way. For sure. All right. It's time for time for Jimmy. When I get my YouTube channel, I know the first thing I'm going to record. What are you going to record? It's a horror game. It's called uh, Poppy Playtime. You know it. You know this, Dad. Mm, I... It came out like 29. I don't. I don't. Oh, so you want to play my games, huh? You sure you want to create a YouTube account without your parents' supervision? Well, you're gonna need your dad's permission first. Okay. Okay. Let's rock. Let's rock. Yeah, it's called Pop Up There's been two chapters, but I think by the time of I get. I start doing this chapter. Um, the third one is already done. Mm. So it's gonna take quite a while to get. Mm. Come on. I think the game will be done by the time you're at an appropriate age to, uh. uh Have you seen it? I, I remember seeing people playing the first chapter. I haven't seen the second one. See, isn't it creepy? Oh, yeah, it's creepy, but. Uh, the, the last really, like, scary game that I played was one called Fear, and it was on the 360. And it was kind of meh. On the Xbox 360? Yeah, I haven't played... I haven't... I've honestly never really played a quote-unquote scary game. Well, I uh, better get yourself geared up, because I'm slowly but surely... Uh, buying some uh, games on sale on the PS5 yeah. for Halloween. Well, like, like, what would a scary game be? I mean, obviously, like, Five Nights at Freddy's, not, not really scary, more jump scary and more intense. Yeah. Right? Very, very much, very much like that, but, like, I'm not much of a, like, of a jump scare guy, right? Like, um, but, like, I want to play a game that, like, really, really terrifies me. Uh, Dead by Daylight? I don't know. Go, go, I don't know. Go. But I feel like I, I haven't play played it. that game, but that's like on sale right now. Whoop! Too bad. Oh no, Ooh, you lost yeah, the bar. He's dead. Hey, DJ, nice hit. No, but I was. Uh, so I had an idea for a uh, a uh, virtual reality game, right? So um, I don't know how yeah, you would do this. But you would do a, uh, like, use the, um, like, what's it called? The, like, the Oculus's ability to map its environment. So what you do is, uh, you take it throughout your house, right? Mm -hmm. And the game, and, like, the game sees the walls and, like, knows where everything is. You go through it and it maps it and it learns the layout. It maps your entire house? Yeah, and, it, and you feel like you're playing this game inside of your house, but you're just standing still inside of your your own thing. So, as you're, like, in your living room, you're moving throughout your house with the controls on the VR headset, 
and playing as if this horror game or this terrible thing has happened like in your own home kind of thing so it's taking it from like oh i'm gonna play like silent hill where it's like oh maybe it's somewhere right or like a uh like a resident evil oh it's somewhere to like this is in my house right and it's kind of that extra little like mind trip Especially to like make you your that would be well yeah like. well yeah but i mean i'm like sure there there would there be limits right there would be limits to how much you could uh like like square footage and stuff like that but like Something like that, I think that would scare me the most. Because, like, jump scares are one thing, and playing a scarier game, like, where you're dealing with, like, uh, impossible odds and, like, tough enemies and stuff like that is one thing. But it's another thing to, like, be playing that in, like, an environment that you recognize and that you would view as a safe area. So I've been, I've been like, tossing that around for a little bit, but... So that would be kind of dangerous because you think you're... Like, you think you have to move and feel alive, so like... No, 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 because you, you still stay within your, the boundary of the VR headset. Like, you still stay within, like, your safe bubble or whatever, like, that you, that you make, your grid. custom space grid. But you've previously, because the Oculus specifically has cameras on the outside so it can map the environment. You can see when you're drawing your, your custom boundary on, you can kind of see an outline of everything that's going on around you. So you just use something like that and map the environment and it, what it would take is it would take the game filling in the gaps in your house, right? Does that make sense? Like you have the structure, right? You have the, the space and size of the game, but then like the game itself produces enemies, produces something searching for you, produces something that's like that, and it's, I don't know, I, uh, uh, I was, I was tossing it around the other day, just, like, kind of thinking about it in my head, and it's like, what if you had, like, uh, everyone's, everyone's worst nightmare, a home invasion, and you have to evade capture by someone inside of your own home. Well, that which, monkey's mouth just looked terrifying. Oh, I missed that, I was looking at you. Like, oh, uh, that's even worse! Uh, it's like Cyclops. Oh, I really don't like those lips. <laughs> right, just like that. No, but I was just, uh... I was just tossing that idea around the other day, like, okay. Create a game like that. Now, now it's... That was right on the edge. Right on the thumb. No, not even a... Not even a night... Oh! Then you wake up, but then you realize it was just a dream and No, there's plenty of games like that, but like, I'm talking like... I was nightmare being stuck alone in like a factory. Really? Yeah. Speaking as two people who are like stuck alone in a factory repeatedly, it's not so bad. Oh! Two people, that's five. No, no, no. Like, Tanner and I weren't together. How often were you and me alone at the farm? Probably a good chunk of time. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, I remember working down, like... The breezeway. Yeah, the Breezeway especially. Yeah, that place was haunted, though. The Breezeway, for sure. You did great there. Oh! oh, 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 oh. Okay. That's, a, that's an intense one. Oh, yeah, I had to deploy the airbag. Oh, yeah. It's awesome. <laughs> ah, no! I missed! Boss stage. Okay, you're doing good. You're doing good. Damn, damn male. Oh, I see. Position. Okay, alright. Yay! No, it didn't impale the finger. No, it's just... It, it, I, I would have hit the dude's finger if I missed. Gosh, that is the worst pain in the world. What? Just... When you smash your finger with a hammer? Oh, yeah. That is the I worst... Mean, yeah. Multiple times. That... Because... It, it's not like... You know, there's never a time when you, like, smash your finger where you're like, Oh, it wasn't that bad. It's either... Like... It's either, like terribly painful or you 
are glad you didn't hit it harder. There's nothing in the middle. Nothing like, oh, well, I've, I've felt worse than No, no, no. <laughs> Anytime you smash your finger with a hammer, I, that sucks. I don't recall if I ever did that, but I want to say maybe I got myself hurt once. Mm -hmm. But I, I don't use, like, hammers and nails, like, whole mm -hmm. lots, but... One time, so when I was, uh... All, I, all I could think of is, like, just stubbing my toe. Oh, yeah, well, stubbing your toe sucks. When I was when I was Caleb's age, so I don't know if you remember Tanner. So the brine bins out of the farm, right? So you know when they would fill them up with the liquid, and then we would tie up the bags, and then you know put the black plastic over the top. Oh, the brine bins. Yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, never. I don't think I ever saw them getting tied up in action, but just. Yeah. Do you, you remember the black plastic that would go on top? Yeah, of them? yeah, yeah. Okay, so the, you know the staple hammers, like the so like. What you do is you'd fold, like, you'd put the, put that on top, then you'd pinch it and then fold the uh, the corner of the plastic over, and then you would hammer in these staples, these staple guns, but, like, you would hit it with this hammer, and it has staple in it, and it would do that. When I was Caleb's age, I messed up, and I swung it, and it went through my thumbnail. Ooh! So I stapled my freaking thumb to a bin. Oh! Yeah, I had to go get a tetanus oh, shot. Oh, that just made me shudder. Dude, it was bad. Oh. It was not pleasant, because it was like... And you died? Yeah. Well, because the, the staple went the staple went into my thumbnail, and then the rest... Because, like, you had to swing it, right? Because you had to swing it hard enough to force the staple in. So I had a staple... <laughs> right in there uh, but then it also since I hit it so hard it took the tip of my thumb off but and that was all bloody too oh Ugh. yeah that was that was painful Zeke pulled yeah, it out yeah. like cause it was it was stuck in there no did he pull it out huh oh oh uh, I, I was drinking Mountain Dew oh uh oh okay oh, oh, good move, okay. Good move. Oh, I thought I had more time Dodging a building. Okay. Were, I think my worst pain that I ever experienced was when I um when I sprayed my my foot. So those those yeah, were I, I just my foot and my arm. Nice, right. that was right in the middle. Very nice. Lucas is just like Lucas, <laughs> yeah. Lucas helped me out with the Oh, y'all getting me to the, uh, to the door. Okay, come on. Wait, no, that, that, yeah, that was my arm. When I sprayed that, he helped me because I was like, I'm so much pain, I think. I felt like I couldn't come on. There's, there are three more flying at you. <laughs> so, like, uh, yeah. With that, with that, the staple gun, that... Out there at the, at the front, that was, that was quite a mess. <sighs> Trying to think of a time of when I got injured really badly. Yeah. I. Hmm. No. Well, a doctor intentionally broke your jaw, so. Oh, okay. Okay. I mean, yeah. I mean, like accident by accident. Yeah, yeah. I was gonna like, say, like, and like in, that was pretty bad in my book. Well, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Sir. Yeah. My jaw surgery was pretty nasty. Yeah, that was gnarly. Dude. But uh, I mean, I'm talking about like accidental injuries or uh, un unintended. Gotcha. Unintended injuries. I'm trying to think if you ever got hurt at the farm, because that's kind of like where most of um, happened. I will say, I will say that I uh, hit my head a lot in the compressor room mm -hmm. all the time. Yeah, yeah, just because okay. every one of those freaking pipes was made because it was made by made by Trent. He's an excellent welder and he's great, but the, but the man is short. Right, that room yeah. was not meant for guys over six foot. <laughs> you have to, like, Period. Yeah, you had to like duck yeah. down, and then oh, they just oh, come oh. out of nowhere. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's just you know. Okay, so a six foot two guy, such as myself, um, also wearing a ball cap because I uh -huh. always wear like an old ball cap mm -hmm. on there. Um, I, I guess it just kind of either blocks my vision of pipes that might be mm -hmm. there. Or also, just also I'm already like looking down the floor sweeping. Right. Right. And like no matter what you did in there, you'd always like hit your head. So yeah, I think that one for sure. Um I I think my worst one was my foot injury. I've had two of them. One of them my mom recorded. <laughs> one of on them my foot? mom recorded. Yeah, my foot. Remember on Halloween? 
Yeah. Yeah. Really uh huh. I jumped down the stairs. Oh yeah, I remember. I was a ninja. Yeah. Okay. I jumped down the stairs and freaking sprayed. Sprayed my ankle. It really hurt. You know that's crazy. I didn't sprain my ankle until I was twenty. The first time I ever sprained an ankle. And I played Why? and I played football and wrestled. There are all kinds of sports. Never sprained my ankle. Until I was 20 years old. That was the first time I ever did it. And yes, that was very painful. Yo, but I think, uh, I don't know. Like I said, Tanner, I'm trying to think of a time that you got, like, hurt at the farm. Definitely got sick a few times. Definitely got sick for sure. Yeah. Yeah. Honest to goodness. The, the I, Wendy's and Payson. Honest to goodness that Wendy's has been responsible for so many sick days for me. Really? Really, really, dude. I've never. Fast food restaurants. I don't get sick at them ever. That Wendy's, but it's just that particular location. That particular location, always. Like, like if I felt sick, like over a weekend or whatever, if I was feeling sick, I'd be like, oh, "What do I eat for lunch today?" Oh, uh, I don't know what was going on there. I don't know what kind of health code stuff was going on there. But dude, I would always get sick from that Wendy's. Yeah. Like. Why do you think? And I can eat just, I can eat just about anything and like not get sick, dude. Like. Uh, why? Why did you get sick? No, I, no idea. Like just Honest to goodness, though, never got sick with a Baconator. Did you get sick with this? You got sick with a son of Baconator. Baconator yeah, yeah. I, I typically eat some of Baconators from Wendy's. Yeah, yeah. That one time that you threw up on your mom. Which, yep. which one? Was that the one that you ate? I. It might have been. Because I had a theory about it being the lettuce, but there's no lettuce on a son of Baconator. No, there isn't. No. Um, I remember when I was... I don't remember how old I was. Maybe 10. Um, I think my dad had took me out to go... Let's see. I think... Actually, he and I... I think we went to, like, this GameStop store, like, back in the day. Mm -hmm. Maybe picked up Wario... Electronics Boutique? Oh, yeah. I the think that was the, the name mall? of the store back then. The one in the mall? Uh, EB Games? I think. Yeah, it was EB Games. Was it, was it the one in the mall? Uh, yeah, in Provo Town Center. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. um, yeah, right by Wingers. I think uh, my dad had bought me Wario World, mm -hmm. which, uh, for the record, <clears throat> side note, uh, you know, apparently decided to get rid of it or trade it in for something else. Uh, but then in the last few years, I bought the game, and uh, a playlist of that will be in the description below. Check it out, ladies and Go check that out. Um, but I, I think it was that night, mm -hmm. uh, my dad, uh, I think my dad and I uh, went to Burger King, just outside the mall. Mm -hmm. And uh, I didn't have a meal per se, but I remember requesting that. Well, no, they, I think they were serving slushies at the time, mm -hmm. and I requested to have all the flavors mixed in together. Mm -hmm. And then I think that's what made me sick the mm -hmm. next morning. Uh -huh. But the thing is, like I've I I had like mixed slushy flavors uh, before that, uh -huh. like even when I was a kid. Like typically at uh, my local gas station. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I mean, they're right there. Yeah. I have access to them. Why can't I mix them? Yeah, of course. Well, so that's, that's, uh, but that's what got you. Probably mm -hmm. they had another flavor that you haven't tried before. You just didn't like it. No, there, there had to be something else, like, that does that. Because you can, like, not like a flavor and, like, not get sick. Okay, I'm going to take a sip before it actually starts again. Before it starts good. Good call. But yeah, like, I was, I was, I don't think. That is a big child. Large child. C compared to that dino statue. Si size of a Tyrannosaurus Rex leg. Um, but I was just, I was just. That is a tiny that. house. <laughs> and that is such a big child. Ah. I see that you are cultured as well. Fantastic. He likes to play the Nintendo. Okay, so there's your original Game Boy there to the left. Oh, I can't wait for my analog pocket to come in. Yeah, it's coming out this this winter, right? Uh, Ish, or last quarter? Uh, fourth quarter of the year. So awesome. Next month and onward, hopefully. Gosh. So, uh, all right. So, uh, speaking of uh, Duck Hunt, right? So that that game. I on it. So I was doing some like deep thinking the other day. That was one of the first games, video games, that I that ever did, that played. That you've ever played? One of the first. 
because at my cousin's house, um, Cameron, um, my uncle, my uncle Darren had it. Uh, yeah, you had the NES and the, the NES Zapper? Yes. So we had the Zapper, and then, uh, gosh, that's awesome. Uh, oh! Got it. I'm dead. But yeah, like, he had the, uh, the NES and that, so like, we just played it like two or three times at their house. But yeah, I just remember being in, uh, so, it was in, I don't know, do you, do you remember Granny Goose's house? Much? Uh, you know? in American Fork? Yeah. Uh, yeah. You know how, uh, her room was, uh, down, was, it was in the upstairs, but it was like at the end of the hallway Whoa. on the right. Oh. That was all red, it was like a virtual boy. Like, uh, th seriously, like, that was an actual console, like, uh... Mm -hmm. Actually, yeah, Nintendo kinda did the VR before VR was a thing, but it was just like... A red yeah, thing. Oh, oh, is this a boss mini game? Yeah. Oh, it's a boss mini game. Whoa! Oh, uh, what? I still really like that one mini game. Like, Oh, like the, uh, that challenge. Yeah, oh. I don't what? like it why, when they why? disappear. Yeah, why, why does it do that? I don't know. That's all kinds of funky, though. You fell to the game. <laughs> no, but I think, uh... Yeah, I, I remember playing that, because that was down in... It was in Granny Goose's bedroom. Because she had a TV in there. The Game Boy Advance SP is here! Gosh, I love the Game Boy Oh, Game remember Boy that? Advance. Game Boy Advance SP, freaking awesome, dude. Light behind the screen. Revolutionary. That and was... it folds in half. Oh, yeah. And a rechargeable battery. No more bumming AA batteries from anybody. Oh, I... I can't remember what happened to mine. It was, a, it, it was a red Game Boy Advance SP, and I always had it inside this, uh... Uh, this, uh, carrier uh -huh. mine came with. It was like a Pokemon Emerald mm -hmm. case. That was just it. I've I, still, it, I've still it got It was so freaking cool. I've still got mine. I've got, like, I think we had the same one, because mine was red, too. Like, mine was a dark red, though. Well, I think there was only one red. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so, but it's a darker red, right? Like, the one that you had, too? Uh, probably. It's not a bright red at all. It's like a scarlet red? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so I I I still have mine. I've got it in a uh, um, I've got uh, I was just cleaning out our storage or whatever. And oh I found look, it's all my uh, Jimmy again. Huh? Oh, Jimmy two point oh. No, but I, I found uh, my uh, vintage video game bucket. So I've got my I got my Game Boy Color in there, Game Boy Advance in there, Game Boy Advance SP. I don't have any of the DSs in there. Yeah, I found those and like had all the games in it and everything. It's in storage. So you still have all your classic Game Boy and Game Boy Advance games? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, including my, like, uh, I've got my original Pokemon Red, I've got my original Pokemon Silver. Um, oh, well, get, I got Ruby. <laughs> get, get ready to pull those out when uh, my analog comes in. Oh, for sure, dude. I'll bust them out. The Silver version? Battery's dead. Oh. That's, I lost everything, dude. I had, like, my silver version. I played the snot out of that one. And there, I think there's a reason why, like, when we talk about Pokemon games, like, that one's definitely, like, one of my favorites. Or my favorite. Between that and uh, Soul Silver. But, um, that one, I played the snot oh, out of Oh, wait, it. it froze. It froze. It froze. And fairly recently, though. Okay, all right, all right. The cat decided to freeze again. <laughs> Word. Why'd you call it a cat? Because uh, it's Ogata. Apparently, Elgato is actually Spanish for cat. The cat. Hmm. So, okay, yeah. uh, resuming. Anywho, so Speed resuming. Up. So speaking of, so we were talking about like like games that are kind of like our favorite or whatever. And I was I was just talking oh, about like yeah. Pokemon Silver game. Tanner was talking about his analog pocket coming, and I'll be able to bust out some of my old uh, Game Boy Game Boy Color Game Boy Advance games. But um, I was just just thinking about it. It's like okay, so so through the years, uh, like my favorite games per console. So, like, uh, the NES, or the Super Nintendo, I think it was. Favorite game on that one? I played, uh, Aladdin. 
That was the only game I ever oh, played. Oh, Aladdin on NES? Yeah, so I think that, that would be oh, like yeah. my favorite one there. Um, NES, uh, then N64, uh, Ocarina of Time, or Majora's Mask. No, 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 actually Ocarina of Time. Ocarina of Time, hands down. Um, Game Boy Color, Pokemon Silver, 100%. I Oh, no. Game Boy. Well, we're get. We'll get that. That's like one of the later ones. Uh, Game Boy Advance. Uh, Pokemon Emerald Slap oh, or Metroid Fusion. Uh, Metroid Fusion. Was like fun. favorite, favorite. Oh god. I, it's like I have a lot of favorite favorites. Oh yeah, hard. yeah. So like, like game, like Game Boy Color. That one's easy for me. I didn't really play a ton of games. Um, but. Uh, Game Boy Advance would be uh, it's a it's a Zelda game. Uh, oh, um, it's no, it's not Link's Awakening. It's uh, Link to the Past. Link to the Past. Well, That's I mean that was on SNES, right? But I, but then I there was a Game Boy Advance port. But I played it on the Game Boy Advance the first time. First time I ever played it. Nice. Um, but yeah, I I'd, I'd say that um, for the Game Boy Advance, that would be my my favorite one. Like, cause I could go back and play that anytime. Yeah. And and thoroughly enjoy myself. Um, then GameCube. Uh, uh, Wind Waker? Is it Wind Waker? Nope. Uh. -uh. Star Wars Rogue Leader. Hmm. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's yeah. It. Yeah. yeah that, Star Wars Rogue Leader. That. Which also we. Uh, have an episode of that as well. Oh yeah, long time ago. I hear Tanner get sick. Yeah, I get really <laughs> sick. <laughs>